Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have team of the group stage predictions for you guys. Champions League did end today, the day you guys are seeing this. It's one day after, so it's already Wednesday or Thursday for you. Today is Wednesday, but Thursday, Champions League will have already ended, and uh, Europa League is still going on for one more day. But Champions League has been determined. The 16 teams that do advance have been determined, and we are going to be taking a look at a couple of players that are looking to get a team of the group stage this friday uh, most likely so basically guys if we can get 15 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing i would really really do appreciate it man if you guys could leave me a comment down in the comment section down below that'd be awesome as well let me know what players you guys think will be in here and some players that i might have missed i mean these aren't all the players that i think are going to be in here but these are just the ones that i saw and i was like okay these guys look like uh like they're interesting and i feel like these guys uh my viewers would want to go ahead and see them so to start it off, we are going to go with Andre Silva from AC Milan down in the Europa League is the top goal scorer of the Europa League at this moment in time with about six goals, I do believe. Uh, so yeah, he is top scorer along with Bergoni. So yeah, Andre Silva is definitely going to get in there as one of the Europa League team of the group stage. Going to get a nice upgrade to an 82 red car around there, maybe even 83. Next up, we are going to go with uh, Wissam Ben Yedder. This guy has been great for Sevilla um he did score a hat trick for Sevilla in one of their games I was it against I don't know who it was against actually um but yeah he does have six goals so yeah he is doing very very well in the Champions League so far and he's gonna have an incredible card already has an incredible card with the five star weak foot and this is definitely a card I'm going to be looking to use uh when uh, he is released this Friday most likely probably not gonna be a weekend league this weekend so that's that's fine I'll get to try him out and yeah, he's going to be a great card to use. Next up, we have one of the players in the thumbnail, 90 five rated record breaker striker Cristiano Ronaldo, dude. This man is a machine in the Champions League only. Uh, but yeah, top goal scorer, eight goals and one assist in the team uh, in the group stages. Um, and it looks like he's going to be the highest rated player in the team of the group stage team. I think he's going to get a record breaker because he scored a goal in every single game in the group stage. The first ever player in Champions League history to do that. So it's pretty impressive. And I could definitely see him getting a 95 rated striker card. Uh, most like, mostly played striker. Could be left wing, but mostly played striker. So I think he is going to get that striker card, which was going to be very, very, very expensive. Uh, next up, we have 91 rated uh, center midfield Kevin De Bruyne. Did get one goal and three assists um, from all of his games. We could see Raheem Sterling get in for Man City also because Sterling, I believe, had like four goals, I think, in the group stage, maybe even five, something around there. But uh, Sturge, uh, St that, have I been saying Sturge? Sterling, Sterling, oh my god, Sterling, uh, what's it called, got an inform last week, so I can't see him getting another special card again, so I can see uh, De Bruyne just getting in instead of Sterling, um, of course, and yeah, gonna be a 91 rated center midfield card, looking very, very nice, and uh, next up, we have another very high rated player, 90 plus, we have... 82 92 rated left wing Eden Hazard looking to be uh, Chelsea's kind of uh, player for the group stage of course the game in the match in three matches got three goals and two assists in the group stages looking like a very nice card um, I think it might be even re-released as a 91 rated card but at the left wing position instead of the 92 uh, but you know who, who knows what he are gonna do I, they can just release him as a 92 in left wing spot that would be just fine uh, so yeah that would be a nice card to uh, have and it looks like a very very nice and very incredible card next up we have Harold Harry Kane 90 rated striker basically one of the top goal scorers right now in the in the Champions League um, he has six goals and one assist so he has been very very good um, of course leading uh, what's called Pochettino's team Spurs to the top of his group of course, that had Real Madrid and Dortmund and Apple in it, Apple L in it. But we could also see Deli Alley. You know, Deli Alley had like what two goals and like three assists in the Champions League group stages. So it could be him um, as well, because Deli Alley only played two games because I, I believe he was banned. So it could be Kane, could be Deli Alley, but I could definitely see Spurs um, getting an inform because they did finish top of the group. An inform, a team of the group stage. Uh, next up, we have Joshua Kimmich. 
this kid is in my, dude this kid is so so good it's crazy he has two goals and two assists in the group stage and uh Bayern did finish in second place so I can only see I can see them only getting like probably one uh team in the group stage player maybe even two but Joshua Kimmich was a great player for uh Bayern and he already has two informs so this will be his third special card 87 rated right back looking like an incredible super sub I really hope I can pack this guy I hope he's like under 200k I hope he's probably around he's probably gonna be around 180,000 100 200 to 200,000 coins so it'll be a great card to use as a super sub um next up we have Livin Kurzawa who is the highest goal scorer uh, highest defender with the uh, with the most goals I guess you can say uh he has three goals and two to assist uh, for PSG and I believe he was the one that got the hat trick I'm not too sure I I don't know if my memory is telling me the right thing um, but um, I think he did score a hat trick for PSG at one point um, and yeah that card is looking like a very nice all-round card next up we have Hugo Lloris who did have an amazing game against Real Madrid mainly but he uh, only conceded four goals and made about 22 saves uh, throughout all of his matches which is great because that's uh, actually it's not it's not that amazing but he didn't concede that much you know that Tottenham defense doesn't really let much through and yet Lloris would be a great card none the less uh, Neymar is going to be our next player 93 rated left wing Neymar six goals four assists and only and uh, got man of the match four times in uh, most of those games they qualified first in the group after beating Bayern the first time remember when they smacked them because I remember that uh, but yeah Neymar going to be in the team of the group stage no matter what looking like a great card we have his uh, what, what's it called uh, Brazilian teammate uh, Roberto Firmino from Liverpool did have a great uh, performance in the group stage five goals and one assist very solid uh, performance could be Salah in here as well but I most likely see Roberto Firmino getting in here for Liverpool as Salah uh, is due a player of the month and has been playing very well and has gotten a bunch of special cards and last but not least we have uh, Ter Stegen Andre Ter Stegen has been great for Barcelona in the Champions League I believe he's only he's he's only conceded like what two goals I think in all the Champions League games and he's definitely going to be in he's one of the most overpowered goalkeepers in the game in my opinion and it's going to be so annoying to see him get another special card uh, so yeah, there's some other players here that I have written down that I've been researching that could get in here. So like we could see a player from Roma as Roma did qualify for the next round of the Champions League, of course, sending uh, Atletico Madrid down. We could see probably um, another player from Bayern, such as Toliso. Toliso scored a brace in the last game for Bayern. Uh, we can see probably another player. I heard Kolarov could get in there. I heard John Stones could get in there. I heard uh, Ederson could get in there for Manchester City. But seeing as they did lose um, today, I'm not too sure if he could. But he did get three goals in the group stage, John Stones. So John Stones could definitely be in there with a shout. And he would be a pretty decent card, you know. Not a crazy card in the Premier League, but one of the better uh, center backs that's English from the Premier League. So yeah. We could also have Ragoni, who does have a Path to Glory card, which I did have. So hopefully he gets in, because then uh, my Path to Glory will be upgraded. Upgraded. So that will be pretty cool. So yeah, guys. This will be the end of the, uh, of the, of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who you guys think is going to get in and who is not going to get in into the team of the group stage. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next video. Have a nice day.